Hi and welcome to another tutorial on Unity 3D Game Design. In this tutorial we're going to start adding a graphical user interface to games. So um, a graphical user uh, interface or a, a GUI provides a way for the game to give information to the user and also to read information from the user. So that can be in the form of things like labels which display text on the screen, uh, buttons that the user can click on, text boxes for the user to em enter information into, um, sliders to choose different values, menus, um, checkboxes, and heaps more. So basically the GUI is between the player and the actual game. So um, it's always a good idea to design your GUI before you actually make the game. So whether it's drawing up a storyboard or a wireframe with um, labels showing where buttons will be located or how the menu will look, um, different display elements, so maybe where the score will be displayed um, and health and other different values that you want to show on the screen. So GUIs are created using code. They can be attached or added to any object or script in your game. Um, but if you have different parts of the GUI on different objects or scripts, it can get very confusing and it can be a bit tricky to maintain. So it's a good idea to have all the GUI parts in one spot on one object, um, for example, the camera. All right. So in order to add a GUI to your scene, you need to use a special method, which is called onGUI, and that needs to be added to the script that you've created for your GUI, which is, an atta which is attached to an object in your scene, like the camera. Um, so, it takes the method, the on GUI method, it takes no parameters and it returns no data when it, to whatever called it, um, but it will draw GUI components on the screen and it's called every single frame of the game, just like the update method. Um, and inside your on GUI method, you can have different GUI controls like labels and buttons and boxes and things. Um, and all of that code will go inside the on GUI method. So, um, just to show you what I've got here, I have um, a terrain here with some hills and some trees. Um, so that's my terrain. I've got some water in there somewhere as well. I've got um, a skybox, so just a um, dark sort of cloudy sky there. I've got a first person controller. Okay, and attached to that first person controller, I've got my first person character. And if you have a look in the inspector there, you can see the camera attached to that first person character. And I've also got a spotlight on that first person character. So if I just click on play to run the game, we've got the first person view here and the spotlight moves around when I move the camera around. So um, it's a little bit like a torch. And so that's basically my scene. Okay, so I'll stop that there. What I'm going to start with is I'm going to start adding some GUI features, but in this tutorial, we're going to work with labels. Um, so a label it can basically just display a short message on the screen. It just displays text on the screen um, and that's it. So we're going to um, create a basic GUI that will draw a label on the screen. Um, so I've got a scene here, I'm going to create a new script. So I'll just um, right click here in the assets panel, create C sharp script. I should really put it in my scripts folder, but I can do that later. So I'm just going to call this GUI script. Okay. And I'm going to attach it to um, my first person controller here. So I'll just go and attach it, drag it onto the first person controller there. Remember you can add it to any object in the game or any script in your game. All right, so I've got that there. Here it is, attached to my, no, wait, it's down here. Here it is, attached to my um, first person controller. There's a script. So I'm gonna double click on that script to open it up. Okay, so I've got a start method here and an update method. 
but we will not add the on GUI method um, anywhere inside those. It needs to be out inside the class here. So don't put it inside the start or update method. So basically to start adding um, GUI features, we need to add void on GUI. Okay, and brackets, and then our curly brackets there. All right, so void on GUI, that's the method that we're going to use to put our GUI controls in. So, first one we're going to add for this tutorial is a label. So it's GUI.label. Okay, and then in brackets, new rect. Okay. And then in brackets again, we're going to add some parameters here. We're going to add four different parameters. Okay, the first one is the X position. So where on the screen this um, label will be placed. So where on the um, horizontal axis, the X axis. So I'm going to put zero, so it's up in the top left corner. And the second value there, the second parameter is the Y axis. So the Y position. Uh, or vertical placement on the screen. So I'm going to put that zero as well. So it's going to be in the top left corner. The next parameter is the width of the label. I'm just going to make it 80. And the last um, parameter there is the height of the label. Okay, so you can see here it shows float left, float top, float width, float height. Okay, I'm going to close those brackets off and then I'm going to add a comma. And here is where I can display or put a string message that will be um, on my label. So I'm just going to put hello world. But you can easily put something else in there. So what you could do is something like score. Okay, so um, you could put just in brackets here. Oops, score plus, and then a score variable that you might have there. Okay, so I, don't, I haven't actually created a score variable here, but you could display the score up on the screen there as well by just concatenating a string and adding the name of the variable there. So I'm going to put um, just in a string message here in quotation marks, hello world. Okay, and I'm going to close off that bracket and then semicolon there to end that line. All right, and make sure that the method is closed there with that um, curly bracket. So I've got GUI.label, new rect, I've got um, X position, Y position, width, height, and then the string message that I want to display here. And remember that you don't just have to display any string, you can put in a um, value of um, a variable in there. So you can put a, a variable name in there to display it. All right, I'm gonna save that. I'm going to go back to Unity and I'm going to play it. And there we go. We've got Hello World up there in the top left corner. Okay, so if we go back to the script, we could maybe move it um, down a little bit. Um, maybe change the X position to 5 and the Y position to 5. Okay, we'll save that and go back to Unity. And so now it's in the top left corner, but it's not so close to the edge of the screen. So there's a bit of space there, or a bit of padding between the text and the screen, and the edge of the screen, sorry. Um, so that's basically a label. So um, you can add whatever strings you want there, whatever text you want to show in your label. And remember that you can have variable values there. So a label can be quite useful for displaying things like a score um, or health or anything like that. All right, that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll have a look at boxes. Thanks for watching.